a modern day miracle of St. Nicholas at sea. Yes, this is a St. Nicholas that we call Santa Claus. St. Nicholas. I heard a story from priest monk Theophilact, a monk of the Skov Caves Monastery during the latter half of the 1980s. He was told it by a military man, a first rank captain and a man of faith. How did he come to faith? In his youth, he commanded a torpedo boat on the Pacific Ocean. One day, the boat went out on its watch into the sea. The weather forecasts were good and nothing indicated any trouble. No sea storms whatsoever. Just the same, on the horizon there appeared at first a dark cloud, a large dark cloud, which started growing rapidly. A sharp wind blew, which grew into a strong squall. The storm began. Huge waves started beating against the small ship. The ship was tossed from side to side. Water flowed into the machinery area. The ship was on the verge of stopping, and that would have been fatal for all. The captain was no coward, but nevertheless, the fear of death reached his heart. After all, he was not alone. He answered for the entire company. So what should he do? Then suddenly he remembered his mother's words of long ago. Quote, Pray to God. He saves people everywhere. Unquote. And the words of his grandfather, an old sea dog. Quote, Whoever has not been to sea has never prayed to God. Unquote. So the captain had not gone to church since childhood. First there was the young pioneers, the Komsomol, and then his service, and he did not know how to pray. But instead, in his soul, he was shouting, quote, Lord, save me, Lord, have mercy, end quote. Suddenly, a miracle happened. He saw an old man walking right on the waves, wearing the garments of a priest. The captain even had time to look at his face, regular features, a small beard, and a clear gaze. The old man blessed the ship with both hands, and immediately the wind died down. The sea went flat, and the storm was over. The captain caught his breath. Returning, he promised to himself to go without delay to a church and place a candle as a sign of thanks for his deliverance and the salvation of the crew. But in the Far East, during the years of persecution, nearly all the churches had been destroyed. Nevertheless, an opportunity soon presented itself. He was sent on an assignment to Leningrad. While traveling along the ring road, the captain noticed a beautiful five-domed cathedral. He left the tram and walked over to it. It was the St. Nicholas Cathedral of naval glory. But the captain did not know about this. He went into the half-dark lower church, bought a candle for two rubles and fifty kopecks, and looked around for a candle stand to place it on. He noticed an icon with the image of a pious elder in the garb of a bishop, and he decided, quote, I'll place a candle before this grandpa, end quote. The captain walked closer, looked at the icon, and he froze. The facial features corresponded exactly to those of the amazing elder who had stopped the storm on the Pacific Ocean. Quote, whose image is that? End quote. The captain asked a church worker in a dark apron. Quote, what do you mean, whose? It's the Holy Hierarch and wonder worker Nicholas, defender of all those who sail at sea. End quote. That's what she replied. This incident was written down in slightly different words by Father Theophilact in his collection, This Happened in Our Time. 27 years have passed since I read it. Much has been erased from my memory, but the main thing remain, remains that the image of St. Nicholas, the merciful, miraculous deliverer of those who are perishing at sea. This is by Father Vladimir Vasilik, and it's on Ortho Christian. I'll leave a link below for you for this. Kindly support by contributing to my Patreon account. You'll find it in the description box below.
Thank you.